Good afternoon from Delhi, where I'm dripping ice cream down myself, and I'm also at another, the bloody bottom fell off it as well. I'm at another historic site. This one, it's the Humayun's tomb. A tomb for the man Humayun, who was the second Mughal Empire back in the day. I think he died in 1556. And the story is that his wife, or his first wife, because he's Islamic, so they had multiple wives, didn't they? His first wife was so distraught, so devastated by the death of Humayun that she dedicated the rest of her life to building a memorial, the most beautiful, the biggest in the whole of Delhi, or the whole of whatever Delhi was called back then, the whole of the empire, in fact. And she wanted him to have the biggest uh, mausoleum. Well, that's it. So that's what I've come to visit. Uh, Hermione's tomb. I've been trying to find out what this thing is, this building here. I think I've walked the whole radius of it and haven't found any information at all. There's an entrance somewhere about there. Aye, there's it. Look at this all dripping down myself. Like Delhi isn't the place. Oh, you're getting the... Uh, what's that? Yes, it's open. open. It's open? Aye, no, it says it's open. You cannot go in. Oh, you're the security guard. I was wondering what's going on here. There's a bunch of different uh, graves in here, but that won't be the main guy. That'll be maybe maybe Probably six wives. Would they have had six wives back in the days? Uh, I don't know, but there's no information at all. And these security guards here, I've been to places, oh, ruined, more photos. <laughs> just everywhere you're going, you're just stepping into someone's photos, but never mind, they're going to take 10 anyway. Um, God. Like this is, this is, Delhi's too hot for ice cream, mate. <laughs> yeah, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, so, I don't know, I don't know what, what I was going to say, so, we're going to the next part. We can, we can go up the wall to get a better view of the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. There's some power lines. Are we supposed to come up here? Yeah. There's nothing blocking us. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> nothing falling backwards. Okay. Well, there you have it. The mausoleum for Hermione's wives. I don't know if that really is the tomb for the wives, but uh, like I said, if they don't give me all the information, I just need to fill in the blanks myself, put the bits and pieces together, and make a wee story. Right, uh, I reckon the main tomb, the main man's tomb, is somewhere around that way. Ah, uh, now I remember what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about that security guard coming in. Broke forever, he's saying they're trying to stop you if you have a tripod or something. Yeah, it's true, you're not on tripods here, but the main reason, I'll tell you guys, the main reason those guys come up to you is that they try and uh, provide like an unofficial guide service. That's what they do. The guys who are like security guards here, they earn almost nothing. So if they see a foreigner, it's a good opportunity for them to just, they come up, they'll give you some information, they'll show you some good uh, places to take some photos, and then they'll ask for money. You'll give them 100, they'll ask for 200, you'll give them 200, they'll ask for 400. You get the idea. So that's what that guy was up to when he seen us. Well, I guess he thought we were both foreign. My friends are local. Uh, yeah, so that's what he was up to uh, back there. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure of it. Well, actually, I've just seen there is information on what that tomb was about. So you can ignore what I just told you about it being the tomb for Hamayan's wives. It was actually for Isa Khan, who was uh, somebody who died, I guess, two decades before Hamayan. And uh, there's no information on who that is, Isa Khan. Uh, I don't know. Again, we just have to fill in the blanks. Maybe it's some um, ancestor for Shaka Khan. Let's uh, let's say that, shall we? <laughs> oh, in fact, wait. That's uh, some more information. Isa Khan tomb enclosure was a noble in the court of Sher Shah Shur. Okay, so it was a noble woman. Well, it sounds like a woman, Isa. I guess it's probably a guy, isn't it? Women wouldn't probably have. Probably women don't get tombs like that. They'd just be like buried in the grass back then. <laughs> back in those days. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, come with me guys as we piece the piece the little bits together and make up the story. Find out the history of this place. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> well, we're walking to the main tomb now. The main man's tomb, Hamayan. And look at it, surrounded by a fort. Some beautiful gardens in there that I can see. So I think this is going to be quite impressive. This is good, it looks like everybody's on their way out, rather than none on their way in. That's what you like to see in it. And uh, we're here at, what time must it be? About 5pm or something? We assumed this place would close at like 5.30 or 6pm, like most places do. There's actually on the sign it says 9pm this place closes, so... I guess they must light this place up, I don't see any lights or anything. I assume this is pitch dark at night, but maybe they light up the main tomb area and stuff, so... Aye, that'd be something pretty special to see, but uh, 
I'm not going to stick around a few hours, I don't think. Uh, what time does it get dark? Like 6.40? Six, six, like yeah, yeah, so we'll be gone by then. Sorry guys. <laughs> GoPro's crap in low light anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see that. Yeah. And here we are, that is it. Hermione's tomb, look at the bloody size of it. It is absolutely massive. Wow! Like I said, hello, how are you? High five! Yes! Good lad, yeah! <laughs> so that is it right ahead of us, Hermione's tomb. Bloody huge! It's almost the size of Taj Mahal, right? Incredible, isn't it? I think it's a similar story to the Taj Mahal. Isn't that the Taj Mahal? Wasn't that wasn't that built by somebody who was uh, a commemoration to their husband or something right. like that as well? Uh, yeah, for his wife. Yeah. It's like oh, it's for his wife. So it's the opposite way around. This one, the man died, and uh, she built the tomb. And the other one was the wife died, yeah. and he built the tomb. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. Some big steps, but your men right here have some big legs, so we'll take two at a time, won't we? No problem for your men. Aye. Just ruin more people's photos while we do it. But eh, uh, aye. Look at this. Oh. And far less people than the Taj Mahal. Far less people around. This is nice. Right, let's find the entrance. And that is that, I guess, right in the centre. The one grave for the one man. This whole thing built just for him. Looks like those guys getting in a an unofficial tour from that security guard. Like I told you, that is the reason. You think that guy's just doing that out of the goodness of his heart? No, he's waiting around. He wants 200 rupees minimum for that. Better get your hand in your pocket, mate. Oh, look, there are other graves. That's for her side, side lovers. No, I reckon that's for all the wives then. So I thought, this, I thought the guy had this tomb all to himself, but there are a few wee graves here, so... I reckon it has to be for the wives, isn't it? Or maybe the sons. Oh, yeah. I don't know, they would have been important in their, in their own right, so I don't know. They don't put any names or anything. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, they have these similar types of windows like you've seen in Agra Fort. And it blocks out the light, but it lets the air come through. So that was the reason for that design. Didn't actually read that anywhere. That's just common sense thinking <laughs> that tells you that. Uh, anyway, is there anything else to explore in here? Got another three. So there you go, that is the six wives. <laughs> There's something written on there in Arabic, so maybe somebody who speaks Arabic could actually tell me what that says. It's a wonder they don't translate whatever it says into English and put wee signs up, but uh, they haven't. So, uh, oh aye, more to explore, more to explore. There are other wee corridors and stuff. Aye, it just looks like through here, another two graves. So that's eight in total, well eight that I've counted, so that's probably too many for wives. I know that the Islamics, they, they had multiple wives, but they probably didn't have eight. Although, he was the emperor, so maybe he was important enough to have eight. I think it depends on how much money you've got. The more money you've got, the more wives you can have in that religion. I think that's how it works. As long as you're able to support them financially and everything, and with your own attention, you're allowed to have them. So, I don't know, could be eight wives. No information for me to, to tell you. Oh, well, let's say it's, uh, it's three wives and five sons or something. Let's just make that up. Anyway, <laughs> let's just make that story, guys, since they don't give us the information. Maybe they don't know, know the information. I think in uh, situations like that where they don't have any signs, usually it's just people don't know. You know, the history's unclear. Maybe like scholars, historians argue about uh, what the real history was, things like that. So they don't put up any uh, signs. So better just listen to me instead. <laughs> Look at this. Amazing. You just get an idea from here. How old you? <laughs> oh, okay. Vlogging fail. We just get an idea from here how big these grounds are. Aye. And apparently it was the first wife. She spent her own money on this and she like overseen it as the manager. She spent 1.5 million rupees at the time. I don't know what that is in today's money, but it would have been an absolute fortune. Uh, aye. Incredible, absolutely incredible. And more graves right here. I'm gonna to have to make up more stories to make up who these people were. <laughs> I don't know, let's just say that each one of these was a relative of Hermion. Aye, probably each time somebody died, depending on how important they are, they got a grave, they got one like that, or they got a big one like that. Aye, let's just say that. 
and uh, I don't know if there's too much more else to explore around here, but I'll have a look. Well, I just noticed there seems to be an upstairs part. I don't remember being upstairs in this thing. I don't remember even seeing any stairs. Is there anybody up there? I wonder how to get up to the, one of these ledges. I'm gonna go find out. Hey, was there a way upstairs? There's like another floor. Look at this. Did you see a way up? Yeah, I don't see anybody up, but surely if it exists that... Maybe it's only foreigners who pay the big price who are allowed up. Do you think I could use my white privilege paying the white man price? Do you think, do you think that would work? No, I don't see anybody up there. Uh, I think yeah. it could be that door right there. Are you going to try it? Ah, oh, well, I reckon it's probably these doors here. That's probably what it is, the ones that are padlocked. That would make sense that the stairs would be right there near the entrance. And I, because I've been all the way around here and it just takes you around in a circle. So, uh, aye, that's unfortunate. I don't know if there's anything up there or anything, but uh, aye, it doesn't look like you can get up there. So that's unfortunate. Oh, looks like there's a couple of doors and they're locked, they're padlocked shut. So, yeah. Uh, the other doors were locked too pretty tight, so. All right. You only pay for the ground floor, so yeah. Yeah. What's going on? I just hear people shouting. I don't understand what they're saying. What's the problem? The kid's trying to run away on its own. He's scared of the ghosts. You're scared of the ghosts, wee man. <laughs> okay. So there's another tomb over there, or maybe that's a mosque. They're kind of both the same uh, shape, aren't they? With the, the dome, do, dome shape. So I don't know what's a mosque and what's a tomb, but <laughs> go over there anyway. Ah, oh, well this one, at least it looks like, has a sign in English, yes. Barber's tomb. So that's the guy that cut Humayun's hair. <laughs> the guy who cut his hair got his own tomb in the late 16th century. Aye. Refers to it as Barber's tomb. The red standstone facade, tiled canopies, minarets and standstone screens give the tomb its striking character. Well, there you go. The biggest tomb ever devoted to a barber. <laughs> Well, there's the barber right there. In fact, there's two graves. So, uh, in fact, that one's bigger than that one. So I reckon maybe that's the barber and that's his assistant or something like that. The trainee, the wee laddie or the wee lassie who does the shampoo for the barber. Shall we say that? Shall we say that as the story, guys? I think we will. Well, just as we were about to exit, we found this other wee tomb right here. But it's empty. There's nothing inside. There's no information. So, I don't know. Looks like they're renovating it. Maybe they'll stick a grave in there and make up a story for the tourists. Just like I've been making up stories for you guys. <laughs> so from me in this tomb and Humayun and his wives and his extended family and his barber and his barber's assistant and whatever that's going to end up being. See you on the next adventure, guys. See you.